Cybersecurity today is essentially a continuation of three different activities that are quite old. Intelligence collection, sabotage, and finally subversion, to subvert the authority of political leaders of an election, for example. What we saw 2016 is really this subversive element through a disinformation campaign has risen to a level of prominence that it last had in the 1980s. The success of disinformation campaigns, of this kind of political subversion, is to drive wedges. Now the US election campaign in 2016 was a very permissive environment. There were already cracks in the political landscape in the US. So the Russians, in this case, could very easily drive wedges into these cracks and make them even larger. Right now, the concern is that not just Russian operators will assess the 2016 operation as success, but that others consider it a success as well and may join in with a similar uh, methodology and a similar uh, mindset. If that happens, then of course we see a much more difficult environment with disinformation campaigns. That is a very uh, problematic future scenario. The academic field of cybersecurity overlaps with law enforcement and it overlaps with intelligence. This means that often it falls to academic experts to articulate some of the bigger, politically often contentious conclusions. It is crucial here that academics learn to articulate technically very difficult subjects in plain English and communicate them to a wider audience. We tried to do some of that in 2016 when I testified in the Senate Intelligence Committee in the first open hearing on the Russian election interference. For a long time, the predominant view was attribution is impossible because everybody can be anonymous online. But one of our biggest projects attributing cyber attacks uh, here at King's really took the debate a step further. So we developed this model that enables uh, techies to zoom out and understand some of the political challenges and vice versa to enable politicians, political decision makers at the top level to probe with questions those who do the forensic work.